Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock on Pearl of Wisdom. You're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. There's a little too much light there. Here I am in the Seattle basement of the Seattle apartment. I said I wasn't going to give you any picks for the, uh, what day is it? It's, uh, I'm going to be giving you free NHL picks, by the way. That's what I do here at Pearls of Wisdom Industries. For BPAL picks, the Patreon that you that brings all the frolic in the land, I'll leave it in the uh, description, and you can go check it out, and it's free. I'll give it to you for free for a month. It's fun stuff, and you'll find out why you want to do that when you watch this whole programming. However, if you just want the picks really quick because you don't have time, that's okay. I'm going to give you them here pretty soon. I'm just going to give you them really quick, and then we're going to talk about uh, our picks from the night tonight which is the 19th, and I'm going to give you picks for the 20th. Uh, we'll see how those went. They went pretty good. Made some money. Then we're going to talk about all the picks for the 20th. We're going to, I'm going to, we're going to talk about why we chose them, all of that sort of things like that. And then you're going to comment in the comment section what you think. That's what you're going to do. That's your homework for today. Comment in the comment section what you want to pick, and if you disagree with me and why. <coughs> oh my <coughs> just out of peanut oops okay uh, so sent to everybody your pearls of wisdom necklaces that subscribed and thank you for all you subscribing folk helps out a lot and uh, hitting the like button helps out a lot too so if you could do that that'd be great Pearl of Wisdom, we're going to be shining up the Pearl Copter, and we'll be going out to all the lands, bringing the Pearl of Wisdom necklace to you. So, okay, let's get to, now here you go, I know you guys are all in a hurry, you all got stuff to do, so, uh, not everybody, but some of you don't have time to watch the whole video, so, Devils, ML, under five and a half, that's right, I think Devils are going to win two against Pittsburgh. ML under five and a half. If you want to find out why, watch the uh, till the end. Uh, Panthers in reg under six. Avalanche ML under five and a half. Blackhawks ML over six. Jackets puck line under five and a half. Islanders ML under five and a half. Dallas in reg. I'm looking at this. This is my thing. Dallas in reg, over five and a half. I hope you all have your pens and paper out. Canadians ML, over six. Leafs in reg, under six and a half. Capitals in reg, over five and a half. Sharks ML, under six. And Ducks ML, under five. I had a letter from Luis Perdomer. Pedemar, Pedemar from uh, Illinois, Kentucky, Illinois, saying that I did those too fast last time. And uh, I hope that wasn't too fast. If it was, well, you can go back and go through them again real quick, right? Okay, let's get to our picks from last night for all those that are still here. Everybody else just shuffle off to the exits there. Okay. Uh... We have, okay, last night's picks. That's not last night's picks at all right there. All right, is it? No. This is last night's picks. Okay. Which is last night is tonight, whatever. Whenever you're watching this, it's like 11 o'clock, so it's almost, it's the 19th picks. We had the Rangers, and they couldn't hold on. I was really not sure about this game. I only put small pearls on it, but we did have the under. We liked the under quite a bit. Uh, I had it for medium pearls. This one we kicked on big time. We had the Canucks for big, big, big. Big, uh, no, sorry. We had the under for big, big, big. We had the Canucks for sort of big. Not bad. We did well. Flames versus Maple Leafs. We had the Leafs, but we had the over. 
Now, we did have the over for less than we had the Leafs, so we lost a little bit on that one, but not enough to cover to lose from this. We did well on this, and this was a wash. So, uh, Blues versus the Sharks, we had uh, a wash here. This We had the Blues uh, ML, and we had the under for very small. I wasn't sure about this game, and that's why. What I really should have did, I kicked myself as I should have stuck with my original thought and taken the Sharks PL. We would have got a little more out of it, but we didn't have much on it. This one here, my friends, we freaking rocked on. When I found out the laner was in net and Quick was in net, I quickly sent it out to my patrons. Go large over and large Golden Knights in reg. And we did. And we hit it, and we are up for the day because of it. We were already kind of up for the day anyways, but we really went up for the day with that one. So we're up again. Up, 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 up. Um, I got to go on my record. My record on my uh, – let's, let's just take a look here on my Patreon here. Patreon here. See, this is uh, some of the things I do. Harris over Shapovalov, plus one and a half. My tennis pick, 175. Hit it. Uh, we got tennis picks all over the place here that I smoked. This one was killer. Mazzetti over Dimitrov pays 3.00. Hit it. Yeah, we hit a lot. We do a lot. We do a lot of hitting over here at the Patreon. That's why people make money. Uh, I'll show you my public page, which I'm supposed to update. I forgot to update. Have an update for maybe two days because I'm busy doing all of the work I do for you guys for your picks. This is our record. Where is it? Right here. Here's our record. Hockey, 125 and 95. That's 125 correct, 95. Remember, that's all lines, all totals on all games. I'm hitting like 65 to 70%. That's about to go up to about 131 and 190, what, 199. One, maybe more than that. I have to do the math. But tennis just went up 110, and I haven't even had one wrong. So 110 and 79. That's what I'm hitting. NCAA, not the best. We did want to go up. We're 10 and 9 on NCAA now. Uh, but we're getting, we're going, you can't hit them all, all the time. Anyways, we're kicking butt. So let's look at picks for tomorrow because we got a lot to do. Pittsburgh versus New Jersey. I am going back to New Jersey on this. Uh, Pittsburgh is playing four games in six nights. Uh, I do like road teams usually on afternoon games. But uh, Wedgwood is probably going to be in for New Jersey. And he has been rocking. For Pittsburgh, I wonder if they're going to go with DeSmith. I'm not sure. Uh, but I just think New Jersey's got their number right now. I really do. Uh, call it a hunch. I won't put huge on it, but I love the 230, 240 a Bodog. Woo! Take it. At the very least, PL it. Uh, and, uh, you know, put it in a, uh, like, uh, no, sorry, not total. Put it in a uh, spread. What do you get? 157? Put it in a parlay there. Yeah. Uh, Nashville versus Florida. Drigger has been confirmed for Florida. That's huge. I cannot see Florida losing to Nashville back-to-back. -back. I know Nashville has been surprising some teams here. Uh, it's kind of getting in that season where players kind of look at the stats and they look at the, uh, oh, this is like a last-place team. Nashville's not having a good year. Gets in their head, and they don't give them enough cred. But I don't think that's happening again. Uh, Saros is probably in for Nashville. He played really well the last game. So, with Drigger in, I do think, and this being an afternoon game, I do like the under here. Did I put under on that? Where did I put that? Did I put under on that? Yes, under six, too. Yeah, I like under six. I really like Drigger, and Saros has been playing well. And it's an afternoon game. Afternoon games generally are lower scoring games because 
teams are outside of their uh, hockey is a very routine orientated for most most players. You take away their routine, they tend to not be in the same rhythm. Hockey is a very rhythm type game, very energy type game. Things run on a rhythm. You take away the rhythm, all of a sudden. That's why we'll get to. Uh, that's why Tortorella is very effective as a coach because he understands that, and he know and he and he teaches his players to to screw with other teams' rhythms. Uh, Minnesota, Colorado, uh, with McCarr back and uh, McCarr back and. Uh, Oh, what's his name? The other young defenseman that they have. They got a stacked lineup now. And I don't know why I can't remember his name off the top of my head. It's really bugging me. But I guess I can look it up real quick. Why, why, why? Once I see it, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, he, they're not injured. So, of course, I'm not going to see it. Anyways, it's late. I guess I'm tired. Uh, anyways, they got they have all their defensemen back. Byram, Byram, thank you, thank you. Voices in my head, Byram. Uh, I think Colorado will keep on winning a lot. I Minnesota will have Kakinen in, and uh, this is an afternoon game, sort of. It's getting closer to the uh, uh, less not afternoon. Uh, I know that sounds weird, but the earlier, the more difficult. But I still think Colorado will probably pull this out. I wouldn't put a lot on it, especially since... Did I not have that one down there? Yeah, Avalanche ML, especially since um, you're not getting much on the juice here. I want to take Minnesota at 249. I really do. Especially since Colorado won the last one. They're probably going to come back really hard here. I just, Colorado with the full lineup and uh, getting back into their rhythm again. I don't think they're going to be losing too many games. So I'm taking Colorado ML with Kakinen and Grubauer in. I'm going to lean to the under here. Probably not putting much on either though. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Chicago. Uh, I'm going Tampa Bay here no no i'm not that's right they're on they're going the front part of a back-to-back mccallany is going to be in that mccallany is poo whole lot of poo now chicago could because of that put suban in here in which case i don't know who's gonna win uh you might as well put a little bit on chicago with that 318 or at least spread at least take the spread at 191 might as well uh you're not getting anything on the money line in tampa bay i wouldn't pl this with mccallany in or in reggett for that matter chicago is a tough team tampa will have been i think a little more of the tired team here as well uh probably take small on chicago and go over suban and mccallany in net with the way these two teams play over is the play for sure. Uh, I, there, I'm giving you a solid there. I usually am not so convincing about it because I, you know, I have paying customers, so I don't want to throw everything away. But um, over six, yeah, for sure. Go over six. You're getting good juice on it too. Columbus versus Carolina. Uh, goaltenders are going to be interesting here. I believe it's going to be Merz Lickens against Reimer. I, I'm kind of I'm very concerned about this Columbus team right now. I, I, I in the sense that uh, they had a couple days off. They beat Carolina the last game. I could I think I'd puck line Columbus here. I think they'll keep it close. I think you're going to see a better team in Columbus the late as the season goes on, uh, and they could even uh, make a play for the playoffs still again i really think so uh tough against a strong carolina team i think carolina will likely win this but not by a lot watch watch columbus uh columbus on the puck line and the total 
Merzikens and Reimer in that. The Columbus is playing their game. It should be under five and a half here. Uh, Philadelphia Flyers versus the New York Islanders. Um, Philadelphia got lucky. The Islanders came back the last game. The problem is Islanders without Lee is a concern. And without Dobson on defense too. They're, Dobson and Lee are injured. Philadelphia is really healthy right now. Right now I have the Islanders ML in under five and a half. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stick with that or not. I'm really going to have to think this, but I'm giving it to you now. As that Varlamov will be in for the Islanders. Carter Hart still doesn't look right, and but with Lee not there, I think the Islanders will win and keep it under. That's that's my guess on here. That's what I'm going with as of right now. Dallas versus Detroit. Now, I would. Detroit's ruining everybody right now. They are playing better. Uh, Dallas is ha Dallas is getting is out shooting the opposition and losing way too often. That's got to turn around. Like they have outshot their opposition so much this year, and in the playoffs it was the other way around. Dallas was getting outshot and winning all the games all the way up until they played Tampa Bay. But um, what's the money line on this? Uh, One fifty three. Grice is in instead of Bernier. And Bernier has been the reason why Detroit's been winning a lot of these games. With Grice in, I think Dallas will pull this out. I'm going to take Dallas ML because Detroit has been playing too well, which is only paying very small. And uh, I'll probably lean the over here. Five and a half. Uh, Grice can just crap the bed sometimes. Dallas has been shooting so much. I think I'll push the over, but not for very much. Very small. Now we got an, an issue here. I'll try to refresh this one more time. Look, I, it's already 11 o'clock at night, and they haven't even got anything done for Vancouver, Montreal, because they don't know who the goaltenders are going to be. So it should be Price versus Holtby, okay? Uh, if it's a six... I can't, uh, Holtby has just been terrible. I can't, I have no faith in Holtby for Vancouver. I'm taking Montreal here. I took Vancouver last, uh, tonight or last night, whenever you're listening to this, on the 19th. On the back-to-back, -back, I'm taking Montreal, ML, probably in reg. Go in reg. I even think you can go in reg on here against Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver has been winning because of Demko. I can't see them winning this game on a back-to-back -back on the road against Montreal. I know Price hasn't been playing well, but I'm going over and Montreal on that game uh, as long as Holtby is in. So watch the goaltenders there. If you're on my Patreon, if you're a Patreon member or patron, I, I like last last night, for instance, I found out that... Uh, that uh, I kept on watching and watching and watching, and we found out that it was Laner and Quick. I went over on that game, and because it's Quick, I don't think Quick is really that great this year. I took Vegas in regulation, and sure enough, it came in. So uh, that's one benefit of being over there. Toronto versus Calgary. Toronto's got to win this game. But Hutchinson is going to be in for Toronto. No, oh, no, it's Campbell. Campbell is in, and then... Riddick is in for Calgary, and Riddick is very, uh, you don't know what you're getting from Riddick. He had a couple of good games, mostly bad games. So Calgary on a back-to-back. -back. Toronto should have won that game already. They should have won that game last night. they got to be winning this one tonight, and I think they will. I'm going to take Toronto. Both of them on are back-to-back. Campbell and Nett. I think Toronto. Yeah, I think Toronto. And if it's a six and a half, we'll go the under. But I don't know what it's going to be. It doesn't have the total here yet. Uh, totals here yet. The Rangers versus Washington. Uh, this should be uh, Kincaid in for the Rangers probably. And Samsonov. The Rangers had to win the last one. I believe they lost last night. I think Washington will take this one now with Kincaid in that. Um, and I'll probably go over five and a half as well. 
Uh, I don't like to do that on back-to-backs too much. Actually, I'm not going to. I don't know. I, uh, Washington back king cage. Uh, yeah, over five and a half. I don't generally do that when two teams are playing back to back, but that's what I, that's my lean right now. Anaheim versus Arizona. I, I do not like the way Arizona is playing at all. I really don't like the way they're playing. They're confused. They, uh, it just doesn't, they do, and, and with Hill, in net, this is going to be his third or fourth game. He's not really an NHL-level goaltender. Anaheim will likely go back to Miller here. I'm going to take Anaheim. Anaheim on the money line. And, uh, wow, Anaheim's getting 210. Nice. I like it. Anaheim, money line, and uh, question is over or under. That's a tough one. Under. Under five and a half. St. Louis, San Jose. Uh, I, I'm going to tell. I'm gonna go back to San Jose. St. Louis just pulled it out yeah, on the back-to-back -back at home. San Jose is going to be putting Dubnik in. St. Louis is going to be putting Ville Husso in. I like, Saint, I like San Jose here. I like Dubnik. And uh, I don't know what they're going to be giving us for a total here. Do they have anything yet? Uh, probably under six on a back-to-back. -back, I would go the under. Winnipeg versus Edmonton. I'm all over the place with this game. Um, it should be Smith and Ned. I've heard that they might go back to Corpusalo. If they go back to Corpusalo here, I'm taking Winnipeg. And uh, if it's uh, they do have a six, so I'm taking Winnipeg. Winnipeg will have Hollebuck in. Against Corpusalo. I'm going to take Winnipeg and the over. Over. If it's Smith, I'll take Edmonton and the under. There you go, boys and girls. That's my full 42%. I got to get to bed. I'm tired tonight. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I miss you. I just miss you. You know what I mean? Uh, have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.